Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I'm here to start our adventure of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I've never streamed Pokemon before. I mean, <laughs> Zelda before. <laughs> I normally do Pokemon. So, this is going to be a real interesting twist on what I normally do. So, I'm going to try to uh, do my best to get as far into this game and complete as much as possible. But our main goal is exactly to beat the game. So, we'll see how this goes. If you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like, subscribe, and share the video where you can. And if you're watching here live with us on Facebook, um, I see Jeremy's already here. Thank you for watching, tuning in. Hopefully you enjoy this new playthrough that I'm doing. Uh, leave a like, share if you can, and if you haven't followed yet, please go ahead and follow and help the stream. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and enter the world of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Alright, looks like Zelda's trying to get a hold of us, but we don't have a phone to answer, so I guess we're just going to lay in bed until the sun comes up. I'm going to try not to talk too much during the voice acting part, since the game pretty much, uh... <clears throat> hey, Marion Phillips, how's it going? Sorry about that, looks like OBS had a little issue, but it's back. But yeah, I'm going to try not to talk so much during the uh, voice acting parts because the game actually takes care of that. But, let's see how this goes. So obviously, we just woke up from our sleep. Um, I guess the story will fill everyone in who hasn't seen Zelda before. Sorry, it looks like OBS is having issues, but hopefully it's not messing up the stream. help guide you after your long slumber. Alright, so we get the Sheikah Slate gifted to us. And it's weird that she can see us and hear us and talk to us, but we can't see her. Also, guys, if you are tuning in from uh, not being a follower, please leave a follow. I do not normally play Zelda, so this is going to be a new uh, experience for me as well as for the viewers who normally watch me. Um, and I am normally a Pokemon streamer, but I decided I'm going to get into all different types of games. So this is going to be this is the, pretty much the first game outside of Pokemon I'll be playing. Okay, so we're going to do the simple tutorial stuff so far. I'm not going to worry about the clothing right now. It doesn't help us with anything but aesthetics. So we can kind of gauge what we're doing here. We finally got that thrown out of the way. Sheikah Slate is going to open this big old door and let's see the world in front of us. and see how it goes. Okay, so the Sheikah Slate knows the way, brother, and it's going to show us where to go from here. Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. All right. So we activate the big-ass door and finally go outside. If the sound's too low, let me know and I can always turn it up. Again. 
Alright guys, so this shows off that we can sprint, run, use a stamina bar, we can climb. So, Assassin's Creed level Zelda right here. <clears throat> and we enter the world of Breath of the Wild. And that is a very beautiful sight. I really like this game. I like how they did it aesthetically. And all the other gameplay features that they put in. I think one of my favorites is the glider. You can't go very far at first, but once you build up your stamina, you're pretty good. Alright, it looks like there's an old geezer camping out at the bottom of this hill, so let's go see what he has in store for us. And, um, I've kind of only played this game once, <clears throat> and it was a very long time ago, so it's basically a, um... It's basically a new adventure for me again, because I, I don't remember everything about the story, but I kind of know, you know, the basis of it. So, we'll see how this goes. And, um, I never followed, I never followed the trails <laughs> my first playthrough either, because I was always afraid of the, the monsters you had to fight and stuff. And it kind of throws me off, so I'm just like, how can I get a around this thing with the minimal amount of health being taken away from me? Oh, and look at this. We can actually roll a boulder down the hill. I wonder what that does. Well, obviously it rolls down a hill, but does it kill anything? Alright. It's going, going, and it stopped. Looks like nothing's around for it to smash. Oh, well. Can we cut the grass? No. <clears throat> so, this is going to be very important sometime. Not really. But I do like just grabbing everything. Filling up my inventory with everything possible. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? It's a secret. I see. Well then, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead of you. Though, remember that you can use that weapon if need as a weapon if needed. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponent and lock your sights on them. So, little briefing here. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spell you my life. I'll spare you my life story. Not spell it, that'd take a really long time, I would assume. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. I hope you'll permit me a question if I may be so bold. Are you not, Chili? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau, according to legend. This is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Well, alrighty then. That really fills us in on the lore around here. That temple there long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it is set abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere ghost of its former self. Well, that's good to know. I know there's an axe somewhere, right? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm gonna need that for the enemies. The only thing is, these are pretty weak, so they go. it disappears pretty quickly. But, I mean, eventually it'll go back in that spot, or respawn, I guess, after so much time, and then you can go back there and get another one. The only thing about early game is you can't really swim very long, so there's really no point in jumping in the water, as far as I remember. But let's go ahead and fight some goblins, honestly. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's here to see. Do they have weapons I could steal? 
I guess not. Link. Link. Head for the point and I'll send a map and you'll shoot this link. Okay. So she's saying don't fight, but we're gonna fight. Oh shoot, I'm out. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Alright, let's go ahead and check our inventory for a weapon. Let's use this other tree branch. Oh shit, they got fire. I'm out. Get away from me with that fire. Oh, shoot. I threw it the wrong way. Alright. I think I'm going to die here. Or not. Let's see. I think I can fight one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no. I better run. <laughs> I better get out of here. Fuck that. I don't think the axe is even going to help me with these uh, three-on-one fight. Whew. Well, I better get some apples. Wait, what am I doing? How do I access the quick menu? Okay, here we go. Alright, cool. Let's get these apples to regain our health. And I'm gonna need uh, to get wood. I keep trying to use R trigger as the hit button, but that's not gonna work. Um, let's go ahead and eat, eat. Get more health. Because <laughs> that was a stupid idea. And let's go ahead and put clothes on, I guess. Since we're already here. Um, let's go ahead and drop this. And let's just keep the axe. Let's just keep the axe handy, I should say. So, obviously, this uh, series is going to take a while. Like I said, I do want to try to 100% it, but, you know, might not be able to. Might be able to. It just kind of depends. But I'm sure this will be a very fun series regardless. I'm going to enjoy it. I haven't played Zelda, like I said, in like six months at least. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I keep pushing um, our trigger. Jesus Christ. There you go again. Kill. Die. Kill. Die. That's not how it works. Jesus, stop pushing the R trigger. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, here we go. So we finally killed one of these things, and we get to get some goblin parts. And then you know what? Let's just progress to where the Sheikah Slate supposed to supposedly telling us where to go. Oh my God, these things. Stop killing me. All right, let's go ahead and continue on to the marker. And hopefully we won't have to fight no more monsters. That's one thing about this game. Monsters just pop up left and right. And I see we have two more rocks we can push. And there's something down there. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. See if we can be successful this time. Oh, took out one motherfucker. Let's see if we can't get the other one. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off that. Nope. Not quite. Yeah, that was a bad idea. There we go. Fl flurry rush. I should have probably done that earlier. But now we got some better weapons, for sure. 
Better than tree branches, anyway. And we got the goblin horns. So steadily, we are working our way to become a better person. Or a better fighter, at least. Ooh, they got arrows. That's not good. Um, I gotta try to get over there. Like I said, I'm not trying to confront, get, gain confrontation with these people. So I'm gonna go all the way around. You know what? Um, how did I do this? Okay. There we go. I'm gonna throw this thing. Man, maybe I won't need to. Shit, I fell in the water. Okay, let's climb around here and be very, very quiet because it's wabbit season. Alright, let's slowly make our way downtown, walking fast past these goblins. And we're this thing bound, whatever this is supposed to be. I guess landmarker? We are here at the landmarker. No issues. I knew we were going to make it here all along. Okay, so we are placing the Sheikah Slate here, and let's see what it does. I just need to get an AK-47 in this game. Fuck all these goblins. They activated something because there's an earthquake happening. Ooh, a squirrel. Oh, they're freaking out now. Like, what the fuck's going on, man? It's the end of the world as they know it. Cause Zelda's alive. I'm just kidding, it's Link. But at least we didn't have to climb up to this one. I mean, it would have been easy, I guess. Steps are literally one after the other. Alright, so we activated the towers. And I don't remember exactly what to go from here. But I think we had to go get the Sheikah Slate um, thingamabobbers where we activate the magnet thing. Distilling local information. And a teardrop from the all-seeing eye. Hey, you're not supposed to wet the Sheikah Slate. Now I gotta go put it in rice. Oh, shit. We unlocked something. Oh, shit. We got a map now. Regional map extract. Can you just do the rest of the map for me? Since you can do that. I guess not. Uh oh, we got an incoming call. <laughs> it's got a big wet spot. Yeah, pretty much. For the past 100 years. Oh shit, more earthquakes. Whoa, that thing's freaky. And that's Calamity Ganon. Now then. You must hurry, Link. You must hurry, Link, but take your time and try to find you all the heart pieces days. and build your stamina up to amazing strengths. I think there's only like uh, three little trial things I gotta do. So that's one. I'm gonna mark it. See, there's more. I gotta get to that tower to unlock that region map. And you can see there's already the bird thing flying in the air. That's one of the... What do you call it? It's one of the beasts we gotta worry about. And then there's another thing there, but I don't think it's within the map range. So I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Oh, there's that one that's really annoying. Cause you gotta deal with those stupid laser beam things. 
That's the one we gotta do. Up in the mountains. We gotta eat the chili peppers and stuff. We'll figure it out along the way. But, again, this is only my second playthrough of it. Oh, it's in the region, so I guess I gotta do that one too. Um, but let's go ahead. Okay, I can't jump either. So I guess we gotta climb our way down. That sucks. I do remember we don't get the glider until God knows when. Okay, so that's safe. Uh, let's jump down. And we're gonna jump all the way down. So this may take a second. Because we clearly ain't trying to fall to our death. Oh my god. We almost did there. Oh no, we're fine. Oh shit, who's calling us? It's the old man! Give the gayest shout out ever. Hey Christian, welcome to the stream. That's the gayest thing I could think of on the spot. <laughs> Made my wife laugh. My, my. I would seem we have quite the enigma here. Someone Google enigma. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. Someone Googled dormant. If you don't... If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur when you were at the top of the tower? You know, uh, did you get aroused in any way? Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. Man, this old man needs to get up out our lives. Do a flip. Oh, I can do a flip, I think. I assume you caught the sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. And this, so, man, he talks too much. It's hurting my voice. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. You know, not until you get there, but fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Shh, fuck if I know, dude. You need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. Stop looking at my eyes, old man. It's weird. Okay, we're isolated on the plateau. The only way to jump off to get there is use the glider. Because without the glider, you will certainly die. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! <laughs> oh, oh. Certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know? I mean, I could just beat you up with the axe I found and take it. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? How about I just take this axe and take your knees out, old man? I wish I could, but I can't, hmm. so I won't. Come, let me show you something. Okay, you're being a little awkward, old man. Can you hurry up? I got I got this thing to go to, so I can uh, you know, get your glider. Give me your glider. Don't be hasty now. Just follow me. I'll fucking move. Wow, you had to take two more steps. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with the strange light. It began glowing in the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider? A fair exchange, I believe. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. You, you're really looking out for your homie. Come here, fishy. Get in my tummy. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have a bass. Now I can make filet o fish. Uh, I'm gonna go around. I guess. The stamina bar being low is gonna be annoying, but I do want to try to get my uh my 13 heart pieces first. Or heart vessels, or whatever it's called. So, yeah, that's, that's, I, I know, I don't need the tip. I just need you to, uh, let me run forever. Isn't there a whistle thing where you, you can whistle and run? Oh, I forgot to do a flip. Shake a slate confirmed. Oh yeah, everything's going blue now. Travel gates registered to map. Okay, so we can fast travel now, which is good. Access granted. Okay, I don't care. Just let us in. I don't think I... Oh, there we go. I did a flip. How many backflips can I do in a row? Too many to count. Let's just go in here. <laughs> Waste invaluable time. Examine. Alright, so we are getting lowered into the vault. Tips and tricks. Check the screen for hints and you surely help you on your journey. I want to do the the shield shield uh shield right thing. I'd never done it. I don't know how to do it. And I still don't have a shield yet, so I can't do it. But we'll see. To those who set up on the uh, the something of Omanu, uh, finish the trial or die. Okay, sounds fair. Sheikah Slate activated again. And I believe this one, we get our first uh, Sheikah Slate ability. So... That'll be cool. I do like these uh, Shika. What you call them? I do like these little trial things. That's for sure. Some are really fun. Some are just fucking irritating. Okay, so we got Magnesis. Someone Google Magnesis. Okay, so Shika Slate is updated, and then the. We can access it with the L button. Okay, so, okay, here we go. Um, how do we do this? I don't remember. Oh, I think I remember. Oh, what the hell? You found a secret. Okay, that doesn't go down. So, forget that. Come down here. Oh no! Let's get out of the water. Our stamina is too low. Okay, so now we can climb back up if we need to. And let's go ahead and come this way, I guess. I always try to go for that forbidden treasure that's always lurking around. But, um, let's go ahead and do this here. And I found out something that was so useful. Like, you can just, um, kill enemies with these things. And I thought I was so cool when I found out. And it was just like, hey, yeah, dumbass, of course. It's a weapon. It's a big old metal cube. Why couldn't you kill something? Oh, my God. Okay, that sucks. What am I doing? I just talked about how I have a weapon here. There we go. And we killed this thing. And we got an ancient spring out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean by shit fucking 
freaks me out. I don't realize there's an enemy coming and just pops out of nowhere. I will learn one day. Oh, no, fucked up. God damn it. There we go. Doesn't need to be perfect as long as we can walk across it. Ooh, baby. Don't close. And is there a treasure chest in here? Nope. What a waste of my time, lady. Just give me something so I can leave. Oh, you poked me in the eye. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I opened a metal door with the power of magnetism. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. Well, your trial sucks. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess and dedication to help those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. So you were just here withering away and you couldn't pass on to the afterlife until I got here? <laughs> that sucks. Please accept this spirit orb. Yeah, baby. May the goddess smile upon you. And it withers away into nothing. Creepy. Well, now we have a spirit orb and the power of Magneto. Let's go ahead and see what we can find outside. Oh, oh no, we gotta give a treasure to that dude, right? Maybe he wants a spirit orb. Oh, where the hell did you jump from? It seems you managed to get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my friend. I mean, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. Is that connected to the Sheikah Slate you carry on your hip there? Paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technologies disappeared long ago, or so it's said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each one of those, and I'll give you the paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick to finding those shrines. Hmm. Yeah, just go to the highest point, and you can mark them like I already did. Yep. <clears throat> See the blue icons? There's places you've been. You can fast travel if you want to, but, you know. Doesn't really help you at this case, because they're on different places. Hmm. Or so I heard some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Well, thanks for your useless help. But there is something in the water, and I want to get it. Gimme, gimme. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. So now we can go ahead and try to find as much stuff as possible. Hopefully we can get, like, a better sword or something. You know, that'd be nice. Bloop, 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 bloop. Opal. Alright, that works too. Um, let's see. Is there anything around here that we could possibly need? You know, I never really went this way. I know there's that giant fucker you gotta fight. That was ridiculous. Oh. Don't go in there. I think you lose health. Okay, God, I'm pushing all the buttons that I don't need to push. All 
right. Looks like we got to come over here. There's that thing, but it looks like we're at a range. So let's go ahead and come over this way. Ooh, what's this? Looks like it's attached. Oh, shit. Oh, this guy. You're not here, too, but you can't see me. I didn't know you guys could see children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hitsu, please tell him to return this time. No, you're good, Jeremy. I'm just here <laughs> as well. Oh, my friends are hiding in a lot of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose in suspicious places. Okay, well, that, I guess that'll work. Now I gotta, I gotta come all the way back this way. And use these things to get up there. And I believe it's this thing I gotta use. Damn it, fell in the water. Link in the water, fire in the sky. And it sucks you can't run with when you're doing this, so it's just like, ugh. Time waster. But let's go ahead and move past this way. And let's go ahead and see what's in these treasure chests. As soon as we get over here. Okay. Nope, not long enough. There we go. Don't move. You're my only hope, Bridge. Okay, we got fire arrows. Interesting. Fire arrows and ice arrows, but we don't have an arrow. What am I trying to say? We don't have the thing to shoot the arrows yet. The bow. There we go. I'm fucking retarded. What's over in this area? Honestly, I don't care. I want to go get the archery bows and stuff. Oh, look. We found another one. I had a feeling. It looked like an interesting area. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I hit him in the head with the rock. Alright, so now we gotta make the trek over to the other places. And... Maybe we can fast travel like this? see we have this thing oh no we can't do that thing yet never mind <clears throat> I am tripping but we can go ahead and fuck with those guys over there is there anything magnetic down here oh no 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 climb back up we will die I would know. I died a lot in that water. Let's go ahead and climb around. And again, we don't have bow and arrows, so we can't, like, sling these things at them. But we can do... No, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons again. There we go. Got him by surprise. Damn it. Jump away, jump away. 
just jumped right into it, dude. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm gonna die. There we go. Got one down. Jesus Christ. That man has aim. Let's go ahead and regain some health. I guess that's all we can eat. Alright, we got a Boko bow now. Which is good. Oh yeah, burn, bitch. Haha, -ha. destroyed it. I know there's still one around here somewhere. All right, I don't need to change the bow. It's the same freaking bow. Okay, let's go ahead and get arrows. Ooh, a Boko shield, finally. Collect all the arrows I can find, really. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. Use regular arrows. Are you stuck there, you fucking retard? Whew, there we go. <sighs> okay, first treasure chest accessed. We actually had to fight people, anyway. Ooh, yeah, baby. Traveler's sword. Man, we can use the Boko. Oh, no. We can use the Boko club for now. Go. Um, there's nothing over here to really mess with. Just make sure we get all the arrows. Alright, so we come this way. Oh man, you're telling me we could have fast traveled to that thing? Hey, I'm stupid. I didn't even think about that. But we did have to fight uh, monsters eventually, right? Great Plateau Tower. Why are these things still awake? Isn't it nighttime? Alright, let's be sneaky sneaks. Let's sneak our way up on these guys here. Yeah, baby. Professionals. Oh, shit. Oh. This scared the hell out of me. Alright. Whew. I'm telling you, these little jump things, man. Freak me out. Okay, let's see. Guess we could take another Boko Bowl. Let's go. What's up there? Looks like we we could evade some stuff. Oh, what's this? Arrow? Yes, arrow, arrow. Oh, that dude was just shooting arrows for no damn reason. What's down there? Okay. All right. So, I have an idea. Go ahead and get them over there. Get up.
Boom, baby. Got them all. One shot. One shot. One kill. And we get more weapons. Ooh, and we get some meat. Look at that. Sacred steak. Or something steak. Interesting. I wonder what that was. Doesn't look like a horse, but it could have been a horse. So let's make our way up here and be sneaky, sneaky. Oh, those fucking things. It's a keys. Oh, man. I pushed the wrong button. But it's still killed. Ooh, a keys eyeball. Still goes for a lot of money on the black market. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Why not? Let's see if we can hit it from here. Nope. Missed it. Got him. He alerted him, but he's dead now. So do they all come out? They're probably like, shut the fuck up, Frank. We're trying to sleep. Oh, they killed themselves. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Oh, way to block my shot. Oh, one shot, one kill on us. That sucks. Oh, seared beef. My bad. <laughs> well, we're going to continue. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke, right? Oh, man. That sucked, though. I should have jumped out of the way. I don't know what I was thinking. Die. Dang, that thing's beefy. Sweet. Ding, ding, ding. And we have a winner. I should have just shot the barrels from first. But I didn't want to use my fire arrows yet. You know you don't get those for a while. But a man's got to do what a man does. At least we didn't have to restart from ridiculously far away. What's in here? Ooh, fire arrows. So I guess it was worth it. I like how the game's like, hey, look, you died here. <laughs> Don't laugh in my face with the X marks the spot. Let's go ahead and run this way. And I guess we can do the blue marker next. I just know there's that annoying thing. I do know you can deflect the laser beams, but it's I still haven't mastered that art. <laughs> I can barely remember how to use my weapon. But you never know. Let's go ahead and give it a shot, see what happens. I was really good at avoiding them. That's what I did my very first playthrough. I just kind of ran away. I didn't really try to interfere and fight the things. Games like this make me nervous. Okay, so we got a little maze going on around here. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, wait, look. I can pick this up. Ooh, a rupee. 
Thank you. I needed the money. Can I pick that up? Give me more rocks to pick up so I can find more money. Oh, great. Here we go. I'm going to try to deflect it. Boom, baby. Did it. We need to do it again. So you got to do it right as the light flashes, I guess. And it just depends on how far you are. All right. Ancient gear. Ancient screw. Who <laughs> wouldn't like a good old, good old ancient screw? Right? Am I right? No, I'm not. Job by shrine. And you need to explode this. So, I mean... <sighs> the only way you're going to get through here is um, climbing the wall anyway. So, at least they give you that option. Ooh, ah, let's go ahead and go in and see what we can find in here. Let's examine and skip because I don't feel like doing the extra two seconds, I guess. <laughs> when night falls, skeletal stall monsters will emerge from the ground. Yeah, those things freak me out. I don't expect them to just pop out and music changes and shit. It's not cool, man. Those who set foot in the shrine, I am Jabais, the name of the goddess Hela. I offer this trial. Bomb trial. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're getting bombs. At least we're getting useful stuff coming through these things. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Distilling rune. You need to stop crying on my Sheikah Slate. Alright, well, that gives us the power to make bombs now. The useless bombs in Super Smash that no one likes. You gotta detonate them yourself. It's ridiculous. Alright, so I guess. Same thing. Throw it. Push the button again. Ooh! Secret powers. I mean, those things are going to be jumping out. I already know it. Those stupid things. Oh, fuck. I was standing too close. Ooh, Traveler's Claymore. That's a two-handed sword. I really prefer, um... I really prefer the, uh, what do you call it? I can't, I don't have healing either, do I? I do not. I might die again. Oh, wait, no, we have seared steak. Let's eat that. I know the little robot thing is in here somewhere. Eh, close enough. And here comes the robot. No? It's not that easy. There's a robot somewhere. Where is there? Hmm, I guess not. Well, I guess lucky for us. I didn't feel like fighting a robot anyway. Alright, round hole, round peg. Oh, I didn't blow up enough. Come on, hurry up and load. I ain't got all night. And shoot! Fire in the hole! Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Another secret treasure. Oh, Amber. I don't give a crap about Amber. I want a sword. I want a shield. 
Pokemon, Sword and Shield. Um, I can grab that thing, right? Maybe this ball is good for something. Oh, no. Okay, cool. What can I do with this thing? I know there's something. You know what? Let me get it over there. Or is it too big for the hole? Well, we're about to find out. Jesus. Alright, we're gonna launch this thing over there. I'm dedicated. Yes. Yes! It got over there. I don't know if I need it, but I know I got it over there. And that's all that matters. If anyone knows the, the actual thing I could do with this, uh, let me know. Ooh. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hela, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. All right. We got our second thing. And we've streamed for about an hour. I'm going to call that a stream for today. It's a good intro video. If you enjoyed, I know I'm kind of quiet in this game. But um, it is a different style of play. It's not the same exact game style as Pokemon is. But um, if you're enjoying it so far, please leave a like, follow if you haven't, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. I will be posting this immediately to YouTube as soon as I am done recording here. I'd like to thank uh, Jeremy for sticking through this whole stream, and anyone else who joined, thank you very much. And we will continue on with our journey. Should be Saturday. But... Like I said, life happens sometimes, and like yesterday, and I couldn't stream, working super, super late, so, you know, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.